For the past 30 years, NASA's Voyager twins have phoned home every day, sending snapshots and stories that shape our view of the solar system. Pictures from Voyager bring us into contact with worlds and, and visions that uh, are, are otherwise can only exist in our imagination. But when you, you can almost imagine looking out the cockpit of the spacecraft as you fly by a moon like Io and say, wow, that's something new, we've never seen that before. I think the le main legacy of Voyager is to, in fact, have opened up our solar system in a way uh, which uh, was not possible for before the space age. It revealed all of our neighbors in the solar system. I did not realize how much impact it would have. When we flew by Neptune, people were standing in line at night at planetariums in order to be able to see the images coming in from Voyager because they weren't on the web in those days. There was no web. Looks like circle. Voyager was an attention grabber that influenced two generations of popular culture. The first thing that comes up is that Star Trek movie with a bald lady wandering around going Voyager. <laughs> when Voyager launched in 1977, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter Systems Engineer Tracy Drain was just two years old. The pictures that came back from Voyager, the pictures of Saturn and Jupiter and Uranus, that's the way I got to know the planets when I was a kid. You know, those were the photos that were there for me, you know, the instant I could even look around to see what space was all about. The first thing I really remember uh, was watching Carl Sagan's Cosmos television series when I was a kid on our little black and white TV. A few years ago, um, I was uh, training to operate Deep Space Network radio telescopes and got to uh, set up a communication pass for Voyager. I got to grow up and become a part of the mission that had inspired me to go into space exploration in the first place. In 1990, engineers commanded Voyager 1 to turn around and take a picture of home. And we see the picture that Voyager took from the edge of the solar system looking back at Earth when Earth is just a pale blue dot, as Carl Sagan called it. Um, if that doesn't give you perspective on, on us and what goes on in our world, I don't think anything will. Voyager 1 is now more than 9 billion miles from the Sun, the most distant spacecraft ever. Voyager 2 is not far behind. Both are on the outer edge of the region influenced by our sun. One day, they will take the first steps into interstellar space. The most important thing Borges has done is show how much there is, the new frontiers of space, how large that frontier is and how much there is to be done so that the, the students who, who come along uh, and become scientists will still have many things to learn, many things to discover. Each spacecraft carries a record with greetings from Earth. Hello from the children of planet Earth. The Voyagers will be humankind's first interstellar probes.